Our top story here at 8, developing out of the district. D.C. police are looking for a suspect who broke into a Georgetown home and attempted to sexually assault a university student while they were sleeping. Bob Barnard this morning, live in Northwest, just off campus with the latest on the investigation. Bob. Hey, Steve, Jeanette, good morning. Uh, this happened at 4.30 in the morning yesterday here uh, around 35th and U Street, just a few blocks from campus. Uh, this was a male student who apparently awakened to a man in his home trying to untie his waistband. This was a burglar uh, who will, uh, if he's caught, be charged with a fourth degree sexual assault. Uh, the guy ran out of the uh, home, apparently took something on the way out, um, described as be between 20 and 35 years old, fair-skinned, wearing a red, white, and blue beanie with a pom-pom on it. So that could be a description that maybe someone recognizes and can give police a call. Last week, we were telling you about a fairly similar incident over uh, in U Street, the Adams Morgan area of Northwest D.C. A woman awakened to a man in her home. Uh, she screamed. He fled. Didn't take anything. Um, the description of that guy, we're not sure if it matches this one closely, but here they are happening uh, within a week of each other uh, here in Georgetown among students, grad students, obvious concern this morning. I live in this area, and of course, you want to keep everyone safe. I think it's really important that we all take the necessary precautions to lock doors, don't walk home alone, take care of campus safety. Um, I think campus safety has done a really good job. Every time I felt unsafe, they've escorted me straight to the door, waited till I've gotten in. Um, we have a wonderful safe ride program, so I think it's just about taking the necessary precautions. But of course, it makes all of us feel a little more uneasy. How about the fact that it was a male student, the victim, right? A very interesting dynamic, but you know, sexual assault um, affects everyone equally. Um, and even though it might be more surprising or the statistics might not recommend that we go in that direction, um, I think that a, a hurt Georgetown student is a hurt Georgetown student. Now, last year at this time, we showed you this surveillance video. There were uh, three or four attacks on Georgetown students here, uh, it, it, just off campus uh, in Georgetown. Similar type of situation. Not sure how that case was ever resolved, whether that may be related to what's going on here just last week or uh, 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 last night, basically, or, or, or over the weekend here in Georgetown. We're not sure. But uh, obviously, the concern is, as Carolyn Brady, the grad student, mentioned, is that you keep your doors locked and, and your windows closed and locked as well, because we don't believe the case from over the weekend was a break in. It was just someone who got into this guy's apartment. And I may have mentioned at the beginning, we're at 35th and you were actually 35th and O Street here, 35th and O, just off campus near Saxby and call your mother bagel shop. So guys, uh, obviously police asking for anyone's help to, to maybe kind of solve this uh, case, whether it's one case or, or related to the one from uh, Adams Morgan last week. All right, Bob Bardard in Georgetown this morning. Some other